Well, good greetings from the American Orthodontic Society. And this is Dr. Bill Wild with his squeaky voice this morning. And I'm going to go back over slightly over 50 years ago when I did this case. And I did it for my board certification. And uh, I was board certified by the International Association and we met in Atlanta the next year after I was board certified out in California. And I had to bring the cases back the next year so people could look at them and criticize them if they wanted to. And I brought these cases, this case with several others, back to Atlanta and, and showed them. And this was the time that the AOS split off from the International Association of Orthodontics. And uh, I went and tried to keep them together for a while and gave up on that and just worked with the with the American Association of Orthodontics. So let's get into this case. It's a long, drawn-out case when this young man was in pretty bad uh, shape, really. In fact, he was, he was cross-eyed. If you look here, and there were, when somebody's looking really bad, they cooperate very good. And it's cooperation. As I corrected this, they corrected his eye problem, and I brought his teeth in, and he looked so much better. And this was, uh, I had specialized in this in 1970 and now I was in the working with the these people when I when we separated from the International Association and he had a bad class 2 malocclusion and I found out one thing back this was over 50 years ago this was his mother and she's got a malocclusion very similar to what he had and went without treatment her whole life. And this is what I'm saying, that there's a world of this type of orthodontics out there going untreated now. That people would love to have their teeth straightened and helped out. We took this young man and up came in now we worked on his eyes he's got him straightened up there and we were pulling this back and this was his brother and here he is and he followed right in her footsteps and I hope uh, we were taking panorexes and things like that at that time when they, in Atlanta, when they split off like this. Uh, this was, we put this back and I brought this cases to Atlanta and Dr. Dave Mitchell was head of the department at Emory and he spoke to our group at that meeting and he came and looked at my cases and said this is great you can do orthodontics and later on he came with me and we taught together for a while and we here we are using a cervical headgear that's this cervical right here and we're pulling straight back on these teeth bringing them back in like this and as we got him looking better and better, 
when my first, I'm going to do something here kind of unusual. I'm going to set a, a, here. When we started this case, he looked terrible, and cooperation was excellent. And so, if you put cooperation up here, the better I got him looking, cooperation went down like that. As we improved the way it looked, the better we got him looking, the less cooperation we got. So I thought if you, you had a way of leaving the person looking just as ugly as you could until you got really ready and then just uh, do a magic something and change it into that. But that was the way I found out people were, you take somebody that's really homely looking bad and you do something and you make them look better and better and as you get it, they get less and less likelihood to stick with it. When you start off of you, they, well, they do everything you wanted. And they, but then it gets down where they have to beg them at the end sometimes to do that. That's just the thing that uh, we did. Now we got in back then, that was before we had, uh, that was just straight wire. We didn't have the ability to put the in and out and everything with the appliance. So this was straight wire orthodontics uh, in that time. But anyway, we went through it. I'm gonna go through this pretty fast. And we used cervical orthodontics. Now he did not brush his teeth good. And so back when we had bands on the teeth, you had these white spots above the teeth and down below here like this. As soon as we got to seal it, we sealed this off and you didn't show that up there. But that, that's the way it looked back then when you started. So we finished this case. Now, here he grew up, and this was in 1992, something like that. He's a grown, grown man now. So that was in the 70s. And so 20 years later, here is this young man with a mustache but his teeth are straight. And they separated a little bit right there, but you see the decalcification that I showed about, it never left those teeth. But he ended up, his teeth, his body closed a little bit and separated its centrals. But this is where it looked in 1992. And we started them in 72. And so, Got 82 and 92, that's 20 years later. That's the way Ricky looked. And so there's his teeth when we started, and there he is when we finished. Started, finished. Started, finished. And we were doing this type of orthodontics 50 years ago. This was the year the AOS split off from the International Association. And I was to do the rectangular part for the AOS. And that ended this case out and I wanted to just bring that up today. So what we're calling this organization now is Straight Wise Orthodontics. It's just added on to the straight wire and made it a lot better. And I hope that people will use that method 
rather than just a plain straight wire. We've added to it a lot of different things over these years. And so I'll s sign out now and say goodbye. And uh, this guy's, I don't know where he is today. I haven't seen Rick in years. So uh, he may have passed on. I don't know. I'm still, still there though. So we'll.